Hello and welcome to another episode of Bored at the Right Time. Today we're going to talk about Baby Huey. So, the Baby Huey story, the living legend. This record came out posthumously after the singer passed away. And what's unique about this record is that it is kind of a forgotten record, if you will. Takes a while to open. So this was released, nothing really happened to it, but like all the R&B nuts go crazy for it. And um, so the singer, uh, Baby Huey, his real name is James Thomas Ramey. Ramey. James Thomas Ramey. So anyway, he died in 1970. But um, what's unique about this record is that Curtis Mayfield was producing it. And this came out as a record store release uh, maybe two or three years ago with a bonus disc. Uh, but this is just, this is now the music on vinyl, which I did an episode on them. This is the music on vinyl version. And it is 180 remastered and it sounds really good. It's very funky. Okay. And as a little joke on the back, it's him in all his glory and he's reading a cookbook. That's kind of funny. Um, it's got a nice gatefold and it actually has some articles about his death. All the newspaper articles and um, there's a little blurb in here from his manager, Marv Stewart. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of, you know, a forgotten record and it really is funky and I enjoyed it. So there's a lot of... Um, covers on here. There's a Sam Cooke song. There's a couple Curtis Mayfield songs, original Penn songs. And then there's a Mamas and Papas uh, California Dreamin' is on here. And uh, so anyway, I'm just going to go through some of the tracks and kind of annotate them a little bit. So again, this was produced by Curtis Mayfield, who is, you know, a artist in his own right, legend in his own right. And so the first song is called Listen to Me. And this is really uh, funky and it's got a lot of soul and the horns are like kind of crazy. Uh, I, I enjoyed that. That's, uh, that's a little on the long. These songs are kind of on the long side. Um, the first track is six minutes and 35. Uh, Mama Get Yourself Together, which is track two, is six minutes and 10. And then Sam Cooke's A Change Is Gonna Come is 9 minutes and 23 seconds. So that's a hefty, hefty first side. Almost to the 20 minute max. The Curtis Mayfield song on the second side called Hard Times, uh, that's got a really nice uh, deep bass and really cool organ. Uh, probably a B3. And there's a lyric uh, where they're, he's eating Spam. And I mean, talk about hard times, just like the song. Um, and then there's an instrumental cover of California Dreamin', 4 minutes and 43 seconds, that is kind of, starts with a flute, and then it's uh, slow, fast, slow. It kind of picks up and slows down naturally. And it's got a nice B3. That's definitely a B3 on there. Uh, and a really intense flute solo. Who's on the flute here? Let's see. It doesn't say. It just has names listed. So if you know who's on the flute here, put it in the comments. So anyway, let's take a look at the record. It's got the original label, which is kind of cool. Um, And it's got a nice, um, it's not just a white label, uh, white uh, sleeve. It's got the little rice paper on the inside. So this is really thick, 180. It's very shiny, most like one, eight, um, music on vinyls 
vinyl is. It's it's very shiny. It looks like a high quality vinyl and it sounds really good. I was very happy with the uh, reproduction and everything. And yeah, so it says produced by Curtis Mayfield. And again, this is from Warner Brothers because I think Run Out Groove is owned by Warner Brothers. So again, these are, these are officially licensed. You don't have to worry about buying sound on vinyl because they are licensed. Um, mostly as imports though. It's kind of hard to find these in the store. Although I did find, he contradicts himself. I did find this in a record store when I was visiting um, Poughkeepsie in New York. And I kind of jumped at that. I wish it was the record store day version because that comes with a whole extra disc. But I had heard this record before and I wanted it on vinyl and it's, it's, it's hard to find an original. I guess um, as I'm looking in the gatefold here, there's a little part um, where they show the articles and it says Jimmy Janice, Baby Huey. Baby Huey, third rock star to die. Um, so I guess that was right around the time that uh, Janice and Jimmy died. And was he 27 at the time too? That would be bad. Um, 26. 26. Okay, so the Baby Huey story, The Living Legend, with his band, The Babysitters. If you find this, buy it. You'll thank me later.